Now we're giving you new ways to implement these forces, and then it sometimes gets confusing to you because you say, well, my athletes can't do this. But remember, your athletes didn't know what a lunge was, and your athletes didn't know what a clean was. So there was a learning process where you taught them how to do the things that you expect them to do on their own. So this is just a new learning process where instead of giving them mouth noises that represent movements, you're giving them specific targets that you want them to put information into. So just like for this team, we might go, let's start up with the warm up, or start jogging, you know, jumping jacks, whatever. And then we might say, okay, now I want everyone to start off with whatever. Every, people just choose exercises. I want you to do you know, push-ups and blah, blah, blah. And then we're gonna get to the bench press and then, so we're not changing this. We're not changing the intensities that you're working at. We're telling you, maintain the same drive that you're working with, just be more specific. So for those people, if we really wanna to get to the squat, instead of just randomly working out and then saying, do three sets of lunge, how hard? Well, work hard. Work hard all the time. Yeah, yeah, fucking kill yourself. You want me to kill yourself before I do max effort work in my squat? Sure, just work hard until things get damaged. So instead of having that mentality, maybe everyone standing there starts off with cars, and that's their warm up for their hip. So now we're gonna do cars at a low intensity, 30 to 40% for a minute on both things, on both hips. Then maybe we say, we're gonna squat, so I want the squat to mean something to these athletes. So instead of just saying warm up and squat, which is like saying just randomly do something and then randomly do something else, I'm gonna say, well, if they're gonna warm up with something anyway, why not warm them up in the way that the body sees itself? So instead of randomly picking lunges, three by five, or whatever random numbers we give, maybe everyone starts to do some capsule stimulation. And the athletes can find where they feel tight. And maybe where they feel tight, that's where you put your capsular stimuli. Not because you wanna build more capsule, not necessarily because you are focused on increasing um, space right now, but because you wanna prime that squat. You wanna get the system so that by the time it gets to the squat, it only takes one set of squat to give the single you, signal you wanted. Because up to that squat, you were priming the system to prepare it for the information the squat was gonna give it. So now all of those guys are taught to find their position, awesome. Now you do a pales rail set from there, but is that the, do I wanna do it at 100% intensity if my actual goal is down here at the squat? Well, no, but maybe I get them to do that at 30 to 40% intensity to prime the capsule. And then maybe we go back and could get up and then do some more cars to upload it. And then we go into some kind of rotational exercise and we explain, once again, I don't need you to throw up on your rotational exercise. This is not the goal, I'm just priming you. So maybe we do some rotational capsule cars from the hips under low band, uh, light bands. Again, this, your athletes are like, I have no idea what you're talking about, you sound like an alien. It's, it's just a different exercise. 